Hello and welcome from the Industry of Things World USA 2018. I'm here with Yara Savalha from Procter & Gamble. Hi Yara and welcome to the conference. Hi. First of all, I would like to ask you to briefly introduce yourself and your background. My name is Yara Savalha and I've been with P&G now for 14 years. Uh, I work in IT in P&G and currently I'm in an assignment uh, responsible for innovation um, in a group called Next Generation Services. Um, my expertise in the company has been in the supply chain, that's where my passion is, and now when I'm applying innovation and next generation services, I always gravitate towards operations and supply chain problems. Um, maybe a few things about me personally, I am um, married with one daughter and currently living in Cincinnati, but um, have lived most of my life now in Germany and uh, come originally from the Middle East. So this morning you held a keynote presentation and talked about predictive self-healing operations. Can you give me a few more insights into the topics you covered and the main points that you talked about? So the key problem we're trying to solve is how can we predict outages in our IT infrastructure before they happen? And if we can predict these outages, can we automate the resolution of those before it gets to any user noticeable outage, right? This is the whole problem we are facing. Why is it so important? Not only our customers, our consumers in the digital world are asking from us to have flawless operations, but also it is very costly to support downtimes and outages in our IT infrastructure and applications. So it is a very important problem to solve. To try to solve it traditionally by throwing either bodies at it or trying to solve it by tweaking here and tweaking there will not fundamentally change the problem. So what we are trying to think of is how can we flip the problem, disrupt it completely and find a 10x way of reducing this downtime. And we found that with the help of machine learning, um, we are able to predict a lot of the outages that we see and with a lot of automation that we have available to us today, we can, with the prediction, also implement self-healing actions to have the system completely recover from the outage. Now, the caveat is we're definitely not there yet. We haven't proven or, you know, we haven't proven that we can resolve all of our incidents, all of our outages, but we have good reason to believe that around 50% of the issues that we face today can be predicted and self-healed. So those will be the core points of what I'll be talking today. And looking at a more general viewpoint on automation and machine learning, how do you think that this changes the way organizations work today? I think it definitely fundamentally changes the organizational work today, right? I am not good in foreseeing the future and I cannot make predictive notions about where we're going to be in the future. But when it comes to IT, when it comes to operations, that, that is a key cornerstone. I mean, all what we try to do in IT is automate, is try to make things run more efficiently with higher quality through automation. And for that, machine learning is, is definitely a key cornerstone of what we're going to do. And where do you see the biggest challenges today in organizations and companies due to all these technology advancements? I think different organizations might face different problems. Some of the things that I see are um, around, first of all, the collection and the amount of data that is necessary to make sense and make machine learning work. Right? It is not a switch that you plug in and say, let's put some machine learning on top of it and have it work. It is a process. It requires a lot of data and a lot of uh, skilled resources that can work with it to make machine learning work. That's one challenge that I see. And uh, as many of the other uh, people presenting today talked about culture, the change of the culture to make a more data-oriented, analytical culture that always questions itself and questions others and questions the data is one of the key, key uh, cornerstones of this uh, uh, yeah, if this changed to, to happen, yeah. Thank you very much for your insights. Uh, I wanted to also ask you what are your impressions of the conference and the formats we have organized here? It's very good. It's uh, very well organized, very insightful, a good selection of speakers across different areas of the industry. Keep it up, two thumbs up. <laughs> well, thank you very much for your insights and for your time and have a great rest of the day here. Thank you, Nicholas.